What's going on guys? It's Wayne here. Uh, today I'm going to show how to create a timestamp in Excel uh, and why and when we would use uh, such a thing. Um, let's open up a workbook that houses one of these formulas. So Excel gives us a warning. There are one or more circular references where a formula refers to its own cell either directly or indirectly. So it's just kind of warning us. We click OK. Let's find the formula. Um, I know that it's in this column and this is the part of the formula that Excel is struggling to, uh, to compute. Um, so essentially what this is saying is if F5 is blank, then stamp today's date and time. Otherwise, keep F5's value, which right now is blank. But if it's blank, then the date should be stamped. So now we can see that it goes into an infinite loop. Um, to help Excel understand what we're trying to do, go under File, Options. Now we have all these options. We go into Formula, and what we want to do is enable iterative calculations. So we click that and have the maximum iteration to be 1. We want this to calculate once. So it's actually, this formula is linked to C5, so once this field gets populated, then the time should be stamped. So expense, and what do you know? It gets stamped to today's date. Um, right now I can change the, the type, but I feel like the date is okay. But keep in mind that the, the time is also stamped. So why would we use something like this? It kind of automates our workflow a little, a little bit. Um, it doesn't, it won't update when I try to enter this workbook tomorrow. So this is perfect for data entry and having this automatically calculate without updating every day. Thanks guys.